save it just in case. Ah, I was going to say, usually I've spotted somebody by now. Let's just freaking bolt for it. Hold it. Nah! This here's a toll road, see? You're... See ya! I'll just sprint all the way down the hill, I think. Yeah, we're good. Good thing those bandits are lazy. Also, hang on a second. Don't we have... Something about... Oh. The Shrine of Talos east of Cradle Crush Rock. I am not sure why I'm supposed to look for that, but that's very early in the Let's Play. And that's... There. Let's try to find it and see what the hell that's about. I think it's an interesting NPC thing. Why is Silico trying to do it right now? I don't know. Maybe for the first time in a long time, he feels like he doesn't have anything really urgent to do. I mean, the Greybeards are out there to be talked to. He doesn't feel like he has to rush. Kind of feels like, hey, let's take our time and check things out. Also, I should probably do the white files soon, shouldn't I? Poor old high elf. High elves live a long time, but if he's sick, he's not going to live forever. Crush rock. Oh, bandit camp. Okay. So we're not here for this. We're looking for... Shrine that's east of it. Got a spider. Oh shit, Dargo went flying. Fuck, 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 fuck. Jesus. Yeah. Is that it? Is that giant coming to help out? Or was he just watching? Dargo? You yeah, right, man? <laughs> that was pretty perfect. Okay, it's it's gonna get dark here soon. We need to find this frig- Oh, look, right over here. That's purely a happy accident. I seriously did not know it was right there. Is this a modded location? I have never seen this before, you guys. Uh, Spriggans. They actually look like My ants. blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. This is a really pretty spot to be, right at twilight like this. This is cool. Never understood why people pray to this man, <gasps> the one they call Dragon of the North. When they kneel before this altar, what they pray for is servitude. The dragon has no sympathy for mortals. Its very nature is to dominate. Dragon, huh? I don't know that I'm a dragon myself, so I can't say that yet. Um. I don't know that I was looting him, but I wasn't praying to him. I was just here to see the shrine. I've, I've, since the Arrowwing quest, I've, I've had a bit of an attachment to Talos, I guess. Then you either think Talos a man, or you fear not his wrath. Either way, we're in agreement. He isn't worthy of anyone's respect. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. Like all dragons, his legacy is that of murder and carnage. Hmm. Get him. Kill him. <laughs> Who are you and why do you spot despise dragons? My name oh, is Morrisine. I was born in Morrowind, and through my veins flows the fire of the Red Mountain itself. 
Uh, okay. That fire burns with hatred for all who seek to destroy us. Whether it is the dragon of the north or the dragons in the sky, they will all perish. She sounds pissed. Um, what brings you here? I was headed west to Cradle Crush when I came across this shrine. Then I saw you. Hmm. My previous companion didn't make it past the river. The river? Why are you passing past... Or why are you going past uh, giant camps? The camps serve as bait. Dragons have big appetites, and mammoths are a heavy meal. You hunt dragons? It's ironic, really. A dragon's strength comes from his compulsion to dominate, his desire to kill. Yet it's that very hunger that makes them weak. We've only met two, I mean met, two dragons. Met being a, an operative term there. We've killed one. Uh, the other one was Valokmir, up on the top of the mountain with Leara. Uh, who was apparently docile, if not friendly. Um, you seem to know much about dragons when they've been extinct for some time. I mean, they're back now, obviously, but they do they were extinct for a while. Extinct to you, but I have dealt with them all my life. Every night I close my eyes, I see fire. Hmm. And uh, what is it that you do? Like any dragon slayer, my preferred weapon is the bow. The one I use is enchanted with fire, and every arrow burns with the rage of my homeland. That's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> if this dragon descends on Cradle Gush, I'd be really to help you slay it. I mean, uh, we barely escaped the one dragon fight we've been in with our lives. But we also had a really weird, crazy thing happen to us that we think is linked to some kind of dragonborn-ish power, which we have not yet had explained to us. So if we could get a similar power from slaying a dragon that she's hunting, I think we would go for it. I'd be willing to help you. Normally, I'd laugh at such a suggestion, but for some reason I'm inclined to believe you. Interesting. All right, if you're that confident, then let's head on over to Cradle Crash Rock oh, oh, and oh, oh. prove your bravado is warranted. Right this moment, you're saying. Right this second. Okay. I might have want to save it before I talk to her. What was the fight, Darko? Was it the Spriggans? Hang on one second, my lady. Hmm. Okay. Oh, God, I'm slightly tired. I'm thirsty. This is the worst time for this, but okay. Damn it, Talos. Look what you got me doing now. Blood and fire, fire and blood. The giant camp is just east of the shrine. You can smell the burnt skeever from here. 2920. Volume 6. You know, I'm sure Talos wouldn't mind. I'm gonna take it. We're getting all the volumes here. Alright, let's go. I know where the camp is, because I've been there once already. I'm gonna save it again, because I just picked up that book. <sighs> No sign of the dragon. The mammoths must be out grazing. Well, if I can't have a dragon, I'll set her for a giant's head. Oh! Come on, let's kill these overgrown monkeys. Okay. All right. You crazy, crazy person. Dargo's game, though. Damn. Lightning arrows. Oh, great. What? Dargo. Gang, a reload is in order, I think. I might have to tell Dargo to wait. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened. Where is Dargo? Dargo? Why isn't she coming with me? Dargo. Hey, dude, wait a second. You have a grim look. Wait here for just a second. You sure? Fine. I'll stand watch. I don't, I don't trust... That you're going to not kill her. Damn! No sign of the dragon. The mammoths must be out grazing. Well, if I can't have a dragon, I'll set her for a... Come on. Oh my god, you're crazy! Monkeys. Wait. I don't have the lightning arrows. Are... Oh, she has lightning arrows. So it was her that did it. That wasn't a fight. It was a slaughter. 
True enough, madam. True enough, it was not a fight. I have never killed a giant. Nor did I think it would be... So simple. Oh, I'm going to be over encumbered. I'm going to have to forfeit some of these pelts. In fact, I am going to forfeit the pelts and take the, the tusks, I think. I have more than enough leather right now, I think. Actually, I also have more than enough gold, but... Mammoth cheese. Sure, it's an animal product. I think I'd be fine with eating it. Oh. What the... Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Whoa! The giants threw the rock on this guy? What? That's one leg. That's a leg and an arm. That's two arms. So they threw it on top of two people. Those born in the fire are forged by it. Two. Two. Two adventurers, presumably? Two people like you and me? I didn't know the giants could throw rocks. If I knew that, I would have not perhaps joined her. <laughs> ah, so many tusks. Dargo can't take any more stuff. Okay, what's your name? Maracine? Maracine? Now what? Maracine, stop moving. You handle yourself well. I could use someone like you by my side. Hmm. Um, hey, you know what? Perhaps we should travel together. In time, yes, but not now. I have a date with an innkeeper, nine mm. of them, in fact. Because chasing mammoths only gets you so far. If you seek my aid, that's where our paths will cross. Beyond that, you'll find me in the shadow of every dragon in this godforsaken land. All you have to do is listen for their screams. Damn, that lady's badass. Maracine. I think Stilico is falling in love, actually. Oh. Giants have killed an alchemist. Uh, she's pretty. She's Dunmer. She's fiery. Man, she's fiery. Um, and she she's brave as hell. She is not afraid to fight a dragon. At the drop of a hat, or a giant for that matter. Stilico, of course, does not yet know that he is technically a dragon, so to him that's not a deal breaker. Um Shall we get moving? Yes, follow me. <laughs> He's like, look, man, you and ladies, I don't know. To the next fight. To the next fight. Yes, to the next fight. Well, I don't know if I am a Talos worshipper or not. I'm certainly feeling friendly to Talos these days, but if I owe you the introduction to that fine specimen of a woman, then to your health, or whatever people say when they worship gods. You have a grim. Grim look? No, I'm feeling good, dude. That was pretty interesting. Those spriggan. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There they are. There they are. I see them. Let's avoid them. Ugh. Okay. Is this the road down here? No. Is this the road over here? We're just trying to get to dark water. Dark water. Dark water. Okay, there's the mill. With. Oh, I wonder if the one weird creepy dude is in there. Check it out. 
Griffith. The one guy with the little girl. Where's Dargo? Phew, okay. Oh no, that's right, there was a new dragon. There was a new dragon over there. <sighs> Is he still here? Is what? Hmm. Well, take care. I was thinking maybe we could sleep here for the night, but I don't trust that dude. Hello. Hope you're doing well, Oregon. We can get to dark water. We can get to dark water. I'm sure Requiem won't throw anything scary our way. Now that it's after nightfall. How long it's been since I've, done, since I've done this. Also, holy crap, we're level 24. I kind of forget that. Maracine, huh? Maracine. What a dreamboat. Unafraid of dragons? Not, not, not too worried at all about killing just for fun, it seems. The giant and all that. She was like, oh, well, if my target isn't here, I'll just kill whatever it is. I think Stilico would think, hey, she seems like she'd be prime razor material, and if, uh, if, uh, if uh, you know, if, if purely by accident, of course, a, perhaps a, a romance was to bloom out of, uh, out of an acquaintance such as that, then, whoa, holy shit, that guy just got zapped in the head. I'm just killing you too because I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm not gonna let you hold loot. Oh fuck! She just summoned a thing. <sighs> Dargo, I saved your life. Hybrid soul cultist. Oh my god, this guy was a freaking vampire. It is after dark. I guess that makes sense. Explains why the traveler was terrified. <sighs> hmm. Got some good clothes out of the deal too. The hell did you come from? You didn't see that shit? Oh, such colors. Hey, you know what? If you're that oblivious, just. Keep your damn life. <sighs> Jesus. That's the kind of shit that's on the road. I'm glad that we're close to dark water. Do I even want to find out who this is? Will I regret it? A very, very, very slow walking mercenary. Of course, now I'm slow walking too because I'm over encumbered because I'm Tired. Um, by a lot, too. You know what? I have potions. Screw it. Need more than 20, though. Need. Yeah, 30 would do it. It is a beautiful night. It's too bad it's so freaking deadly out here. We've passed by this fort a couple times. Yeah, that dude right there is armed and he just gave us a mean look. I knew that it was occupied. I couldn't remember if we found out who it was occupied by, but I don't want to screw with it right now. If we had Hood and Miko, maybe? Probably not. Is 
What's this sign say? Iverstead. Well, not right now, but someday. Um, is it a monster? It's not a monster. It's just a silver hand that pissed at us for some reason. through the gullet. I got it, Dargo. Don't worry. What the hell? Why were they hostile to us? I think Silica would just think this was another... another bandit gang. Extra vitality. Oh! Out hunting bandits. Uh, vampires, eh? Maybe it wasn't just another bandit gang. Shit. Three elixirs of vitality. Oh! These guys are good targets. Those things are expensive to buy. You know, now that we're over-encumbered, I think I am going to try to drop something. After taking a potion and now also being over encumbered, I'm just not gonna mess with it. Um, Goddamn twelve amethysts. Uh, da, 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 da. So many mammoth tusks. I guess I don't really need the gold that badly, do I? There. Should be enough to get us to dark water anyway. Whoa! Ah! Werewolf hunting. I heard it. I heard the beast. Sorry, Duckwater Crossing. Here I was thinking I had saved you from a dragon when I killed the previous one. What the hell? Uh, spider. I think it was a spider. It spit at me. Yep, it was a spider. Darko's not okay. Damn it, missed. Dargo. Yeah. Oof. Well, I leveled up something. I don't know what. Dargo, are you alright, buddy? He's okay. He's taking a moment <laughs> to contemplate why he travels with me. Hello, Dark Water Crossing. Despite the dragon in your midst, I am actually happy to see you guys. Between the music, and the dragon roar, and the sight, that's very pretty. I was tired. To the death. Dargo is sleepy. You know, I remember the very first time that I played Oblivion, which was the first Elder Scrolls game that I played, and it got to be nightfall. I think I was out, um, out around, like, Kavach somewhere, between Kavach and Anvil, and it was nightfall, and I looked up at the sky, and I saw the moon, Masser anyway, and I saw that it was actually moving against the stars in the background. And the music was playing. Whatever, it wasn't this song, obviously, because this is Skyrim music, but some very pretty music was playing, and it just froze me right in my tracks. I'd been playing the game for maybe like four or five hours at that point, not very long at all. 
just couldn't believe that I was playing a game that somebody had made like this with a sky that was that that they put that much detail into a moon that moved across the night sky it's one of those moments and I just had a nostalgic uh, what's your trouble reminiscence Argonian telling tales again Argonian sorry nope I'm actually just here to try to find a place to sleep which you guys let me done before, so I'm assuming it's not a problem. That's not Froa, is it? No. She's got boots on. Okay, we're thirsty. I'm sure we're hungry, even though it says we're not. We're gonna have one of these mammoth cheese bowls. Restores 15 stamina and magicka when consumed outside of combat. Packed with nutrients. Restores 1 point of stamina per second for 600 combats. Uh, seconds. <laughs> when consumed out of combat. Mammoth cheese. Powerful stuff. Uh, there's the beast. Right over there. Within shouting distance of it, we will sleep for the night. And in the morning... Continue on to Riften. Finally, finally Riften. Till the next time, everybody. Uh, till next time, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you around.